What's up, everybody? This is Nick, and we are un we are unboxing the King Duway Tactical Shoulder Bag. Now, these bags are made by a lot of different companies. It's, an, it's like they're coming out of China, basically. They're the same bag. Different companies are calling them different things, but basically, they're tactical shoulder bags. Now, they're very small. They're made of canvas. Uh, the interior is lined with a vinyl to help with water resistance, and it has like nylon lined pockets. It has Molly. Uh, strapping on the outside and it has some uh, cord around for a decorative effect and for pulling on the zippers. We're looking at the molly there and we're looking at the cord. You hear a lot of complaints online about the cord falling off but um, yeah if you don't tighten them up they're definitely gonna fall off and as of right now I haven't had any of those uh, first day problems that a lot of people have. You have the strap it doesn't have a pad no but it is ambidextrous so you can switch it over for left or right shoulder carrying uh, if you want to wear it across the body. It has a little uh, velcro strap in the middle of that back right there where I'm touching there that's for uh, belt support I wouldn't bother with that. There's a nice little padding uh, covered in a, like a vinyl mesh it has a little uh, pocket there where you can stick extra stuff in like a map or a uh, composition book or papers or whatever you want to use it for. There's a little button clasp. The button clasp didn't close as securely as I would like. It took a lot of uh, pushing on it to get it to clamp, but we did eventually get it to clamp, but just didn't clamp super smoothly. You know, we're checking out the pockets. This is the front pocket. And there's the nylon lining, there's the vinyl um, insulation there that keeps uh, helps for the water resistance. We're going into the secondary pocket there and you see again the, more of that vine, the, um, the nylon mop lining and the nylon pocket. It is relatively thin but I didn't feel that it was in any danger of tearing. You have a velcro piece right there where if you did want to add some sort of patch to it you could that it was a velcro patch of some sort. And you have the uh, pull string there for whatever. It really just gets in the way more so than anything. Here's the major pocket. And again, you see that uh, vinyl coating. And you see those nylon packets. Now, what I'm going to be using this for is primarily my uh, Nexus 9 tablet and its keyboard. And maybe another composition book and some pens and paper. So, let's see if it fits. That's the big test. Uh, it's a small pack. And I didn't feel it was smaller than expected after looking at the... It was very... Uh, transparent looking in the specs uh, so I'm not surprised at the pack size a lot of people are but uh, I just looked at the specs and I, I personally for this product was not surprised at the size it is small so we're gonna first try to get our keyboard in and we're putting it in that first nylon pocket and it fits handily in that nylon pocket there I feel that it holds it nice and securely now here's the big test. We're going to try to squeeze our Nexus 9 with a heavy duty case on in there. And there you go. There's my Nexus 9. And it slides right on in without much problem at all. So it uh, has uh, just enough room just, and it gives you a little wiggle room to squeeze that Nexus 9 and the keyboard in there. And you can also squeeze some other things in there. There's a uh, space in between. There, I'm grabbing on the handle, so if you did want to carry, you can hold that handle there too. Well guys, this has been the video. I hope it's been helpful. There will be a link for this product in the description below. Keep on watching. I hope this has been helpful again. Live the dream.